Why? Well, because it has to do with flavor and combustion. You got it? Good. Now, to make the filler, the first thing that we do is, as you can see, remove the central vein from the leaf. And this is the way we do it. Why do you think we remove the central veins? Because it's tough. It tough. Well. Yes, that's right. Learning. That's also right. Now, but according to scientific studies, 90%, and again, that's a big number, 90% of the nicotine in the leaf concentrates here in the central vein. This is like an artery. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> right now, I am going to roll a cigar. 90% less addictive and less harmful than a regular cigarette. Why? Because this is used in the factories to make cigarettes. That's why cigarettes mm. require a filter in the end so you can smoke them. Something very important for you to know. In the farm, we don't use this for cigarettes at all, no. We are going to remove this, but we don't throw it away. We're going to put it in boiling water, 20, 25 minutes. And then we're going to let it rest for a whole week fermenting. Mm -hmm. That substance, we call it tabaquina, Spanish name. Tabaquina. Mm -hmm. Tabaquina. Para With heridas. tabaquina, we are going to eliminate all types of plagues, pests, insects, not only from tobacco, but from other plantations. Mm -hmm. So this is what? A natural pesticide. Yeah. No chemicals used in our farm, protected by UNESCO, forget about it. 100% biological, ecological products Very here. Nice. My grandmother used to uh, take cigarettes and uh, uh, soak them in water and use the water on their plants. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got it. Thank you so much. The position of the leaves inside the barn, like this, drying. 10% of the remaining nicotine because of gravity will concentrate here in the tips more than in the base. That's normal. So. We're going to make a filler, but it should be balanced in flavor. If it's not, we're going to smoke a cigar, strong at the beginning, mild in the end. So, what do we do? We simply split it two. Now this one in the right, to the left, and this one in the left, to the right. As simple as that. We're going to take us this half a moon blade that we call Chaveta. Chaveta. Chaveta, that's its name. This is the way we use it. With chaveta, we're going to cut the tips. Mm. Mm -hmm. Measure with our hand. <laughs> we don't even we don't even have have a ruler for that. And then we also cut here. So what is this? This is more or less the length of my cigar. Now, mm -hmm. from the left to the right, and from the right, uh huh. to the left, like this. So, what is this? This is the length, the length of my cigar. This is my filler. And the next step is give a small massage mm -hmm, with our fingertips. And this is massage number one. Mm -hmm. Good. First part. The second part, we call it the binder. Where do we get it from? We get it from half a central leaf, right? And the unique function of binder is giving this filler cylindrical shape. So we're going to put it in diagonal position like this. And then we are going to start rolling forward. Mm -hmm. Never backwards, always forward, just like this. You can see mm -hmm. this is not a very good time in the day to roll a cigar. We usually roll cigars very early in the morning or late in the afternoon because mm. it's more humid. Mm. After fermentation process, it's very important to keep the leaves in plastic bags to keep humidity. If the leaves are too dry, they will easily break. So my friends, I cut here. You just don't worry about it. This will be for tabaquina. Mm -hmm. And also we cut here. What is this? Well, you can see that binder here does not close well. We're going to use some glue for that. No chemicals. 
a taste of honey, just mm. like the Beatles song, tasting much sweeter than wine. Have you heard that song? Yeah. Yes, that's very famous. Very tasty. Yeah. We're going to put some here. And then honey will have a couple of functions. Number one, closing the binder well. And number two, improving the flavor. Because we smoke it through here. You got it? Let me see something. Is it similar? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. It is soft in the inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the factories, they use pressing machines capable of pressing up to 100 cigars at the same time. Mm. In only 20, 25 minutes, they can afford to use machines, you know? Because they have 90% of the productions of all the farmers. They need to speed up. They need industrialized processes. Mm -hmm. We cannot afford to use machines because we know that machines at the end of the day will release cigars not too good for smoking. They will be too tense. Mm -hmm. We cannot waste anything. So as pressing machine, we're going to use a piece of newspaper, Cuban newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to put it in diagonal position like we did before with binder. And we're going to start rolling forward. Mm -hmm. Now this time, we roll, but we apply some pressure. So cigar is li like David Bowie and Freddie Mercury and Queen in the song, Under Pressure. Sí. Have you heard that song? Under Pressure. Under dun, Pressure. Dun. That's a very beautiful dun, dun, dun. song. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we keep rolling. Mm -hmm. Now here, Nancy, can you touch it there? It's a bit stronger, right? Mm -hmm. A bit harder. We're going to let it rest in the shade for how long? 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So far, over there, I have a cigar just using two parts, filler and binder. We are missing the third part, the last part, last but not least. It is a very, very important part. We call it the outside leaf or simply the wrapper. Mm. Where do we get it from? From have from half a central bottom leaf. It should be fine. It should be elastic and it should be beautiful in color. If we were going to compare the cigar to a woman, we will have to say that this, this is like her dress. And then we're going to use chaveta to cut the edges to make the leaf uniform, mm. avoiding wrinkles. And then also in the inside, my friends, we're going to cut it. Now, the process of cutting in the inside is known as bleeding. Mm -hmm. Why? Because these little veins, when you cut them, they bleed out some nicotine as well. So, I am so sorry, but I don't have 24 hours to wait, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably not. Probably do. <laughs> no, you're very hungry, hungry, you have lunch waiting for you. And then, we're going to remove the cigar from its pressing machine here. How long was it there? How long? 24 hours. 24 hours, yes, sir, but only in imagination. In reality, it was only for a couple of minutes, and then you can see how hard it is already. Imagine mm -hmm. the whole day. So, diagonal position, as we did before with binder. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful about uh, the leaf because it's fine diagonal position the veins facing up and the darker color down and then we simply start rolling forward dressing the cigar mm -hmm. seems to be easy but it's not we're going to to do three other actions at the same time apart from rolling we're going to stretch the leaf we're going to iron and give massage and then you are never in a hurry doing this carefully despacito like mm -hmm. the song mm -hmm. then you close it you close it like what like a pigtail <coughs> you give your last massage mm -hmm. and then you finally size it like this my cigar, hand rolled. 
using no machine, not ready for smoking yet because it bends over and that's normal. That's normal because of humidity. So what do we do? We have no machines at all. We have to put it back in paper. Now this time, pressure is no longer necessary. You just roll it and keep it in the shade for another 72 hours, three more days. We have to keep on waiting, yeah. Paper will absorb humidity and then it will be ready for smoking. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Have